Hello and welcome. My name is Lexi Jong and here I like to talk about luxury beauty. Today we're just going to do a quick video on the Armani lip powers and I already have a review on them from when they came out. I'll leave that linked down below in the description box if you'd like to see more detail on the actual product. But they have just released a bunch of new shades. It's kind of like a nude collection. So they have nude shades for all different skin tones. This is one of the ones that I'm wearing now. This is one of the lighter ones. It's number 109. It, I really like it. So I picked up a few new shades. I figured let's go ahead and try out some of the new shades. And we're also going to swatch all of the other ones that I own. And I got a few lip samples in my order. So uh, let's go ahead and start swatching. First up, this here is the packaging. You see you've got the red and the black. This is a plastic container. You've got this beautiful teardrop shape. I have to say I really love the teardrop shape personally. This one here is shade 104 and we're just going to build it up a little bit below that. These are really satin, creamy, smooth lipsticks. I find them to be really comfortable on the lips and they are just gorgeous. I feel like these are really underrated and they're one of the best, most comfortable lip products around. So this one here is 106 and this one, again, look at this, stunning. So we're gonna swatch these and let's talk a little bit about the colors while we do this. 104 here you can see is gonna be a light peachy pink. It, there's definitely a little peach in there so it's not gonna be super cool. Whereas 106 here is gonna be more of a peachy nude and it's gonna be a little bit deeper in color. This one here is 109, which is the shade that I'm wearing on my lips right now. And this one is a little bit deeper. It's got a little bit more peach, but it also has a little bit of pink in there as well. So I just think these are really beautiful shades. I've got a couple of these here are some of the new ones and a couple of them are some of the old ones mixed in. But I wanted to go in numerically. This one here is 110. This is another one of the new shades that I've been loving. This one here is I think perfect for fall. It reminds me of a nude shade with burnt pumpkin in it. Like that's kind of the color. So it's not quite a terracotta shade, but there's definitely a little bit of that burnt orange mixed into a medium nude brown. This one here is 203. And this one is gonna be a, a bit deeper of a nude. You can see it's a little bit more of a warm chocolate brown, not quite as dark, um, more like one with a little bit more milk in it. So these three here are some of the new shades here. Next, with my order, I got some samples. This one here is 400. We're gonna go ahead and put this one on. This was actually one of the shades that I had wanted to purchase. I'm gonna swatch these ones a little bit differently. They do come with a little bit of a brush, which I find a little challenging to use. It's, you know, I would personally use my own lip brush, but I use this one in the lip swatches, so you can kind of see how it goes. And that's shade 400. Then we have shade 503 and you can see that this one is going to be a warm warm rose shade so this is more pink but there is still a touch of peach in it but it so it's kind of like a warm rose it's really beautiful almost like a pale my lips but better for some people with pinker lips and then we have 504 here this is a really pretty berry shade more here and yeah I think that's another really beautiful shade there it's not overly cool none of the Armani shades that I picked up are overly cool and I would have to say that the swatches on their website are pretty terrible <laughs> honestly this one here is the last one I have this is 507 and this is gonna be your vibrant summer pink but you can see that it's still not overly cool. It's a cool pink with a touch of neon orange in it. Okay, so from the top, we have 104, 106, 109, 110, 203, 400, 503, 504, and 507. 
right, so I'm just gonna tell you a little bit about these while we go through some lip demos. According to Armani, these are a long wear vivid color lipstick. I would have to say they do wear longer than the traditional lipstick, especially considering how creamy they are. They are not a matte, they have a satin finish. And I'd say they last about six hours or so. I can actually keep the creaminess, that texture on my lips for a good four hours or so. And then of course, with the deeper shades, you'll still be left with quite a bit of pigment on your lips as that fades that you can easily top off with some lip gloss or lip balm. So I think these are really great. I love the teardrop shape. I find this applicator shape really easy to use and really easy to define your lips. These are just really smooth and very easy to use. They're very comfortable on the lips. And I find that they are like a go-to lipstick formula. You really, you can't go wrong with these. As for the ingredients, these do have a lot of silicone products in them. It helps give them that very smooth texture on your lips. Does not seem to accentuate any fine lines in the lips. And I don't see any fragrance listed anywhere in the ingredients. However, I also don't see them noted as fragrance free. So just something to note, these are 3.1 grams. They have a two year shelf life and they are made in France. And again, I think these are fantastic. And I just feel like people don't talk about these enough. This is a go-to lip product for me. And if you want something with shine, but not overly shiny, this is that. So you've got satin with, I would say a moderately high shine finish. And that finish sticks around for quite a while and they just remain very comfortable on the lips. Thickness wise, even when you build it up, you're still only getting to like a medium texture. When you keep it very light with one layer, you have just a very thin texture, but these feel creamy and not oily. And I think that's a significant difference with some of the other thinner, lightweight lipsticks. So I hope this was helpful. I'd love to know if you've tried these before. I think these new nude shades that Armani has added are really fantastic, not even just for fall, but all year round. I think they are great, but I'm very, very excited. One thing to note though is the swatches online, I feel everything looks a little bit cooler in the pictures than it is in real life. In real life, they are a little bit warmer than they may appear. So just something to know if you are looking for a particular color and you can't find swatches online, then definitely see if you can find them locally in your stores because this is a formula you don't wanna miss. So again, thank you so much for tuning in and I hope you have a wonderful day.